As the world pauses to remember the Holocaust, one Boca Raton woman is sharing her story of survival. Rita Hilton is a true fighter. And tomorrow night, she will accept an award from the U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum on behalf of all South Florida survivors. News Channel 5's Stephanie Suskind shares Rita's inspiring message. We have to fight. Fight to, 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 to live. For 92-year-old Rita Hilton, her memories of surviving the Holocaust are just as vivid today as they were all those years ago. They cut off our hair. They took our name. We're lucky they didn't put the numbers on us. Rita was a teenager living in Poland with her grandparents and mother when the Germans came in and life changed forever. First, staying in large ghettos, then... When we got into Auschwitz, my mother and I were separated from her grandmother, and she went to the oven. We couldn't even, we didn't have a chance to, to say goodbye to her. This finally broke me down. They came out to the pale of paint and painted the red stripe on my clothes. Make sure that I wouldn't be able to escape from Auschwitz. I mean, this was, by that time, they took everything from us. After two weeks enduring those horrible conditions, Rita and her mother were moved to another concentration camp until the war finally ended. Just to, to consider people are not humans. She and her mother moved to the U.S., survivors, and Rita started a family. She now makes it her mission to speak to civic groups and schools to make sure people always remember what happened. You can't forget this. What human, human, humans can do to, to other humans is unbelievable. And, and to hate? Why? Because you're different? A message still very relevant today. Stephanie Suskind, WPTV, News Channel 5. Two students from Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School will escort Rita on stage to receive her award at tomorrow night's day. She spoke to those students within the last year and she told them, yes, she is a survivor, but so are they.